We want to head now to City Hall where Houston Mayor Sylvester Turner is giving an update on the flooding. Let me just say, let me start by saying we were expecting two to three inches of rain for the entire day. Uh, Mother Nature had his own way of, uh, of calling on us, and so uh, in some parts of our city, right at I-10 and 610, we got as much as eight inches of rain. So that's that's quite a quite a bit. Uh, luckily, uh, between now and I think four o'clock, we only expect about between a quarter and a half inch, and then things are continuing to taper off. So, uh, uh, from all indications, I think I think we should be we should be okay. Uh, the bayous did as they were uh, designed to do. They contain uh, uh, the water and most of our uh, thing, things stay within the banks. Uh, the good news is that um, we were uh, prepared. Uh, we deployed uh, all of our equipment early throughout the entire city. We have more assets than we did uh, during Harvey, a lot more assets that are readily available. And so we had about 12 high water trucks positioned throughout the city, about 40, what, about 43 boats positioned throughout the city. Uh, but we didn't have any calls for any sort of rescues. And so um, we're, you know, I'm real pleased with that. Um, but we, we have learned from uh, previous incidents. And so I want to thank uh, Chief uh, Munich for, and the entire team uh, for deploying our assets, the fire department, Chief Pena, uh, for deploying our assets throughout the city just in case. Public Works was responding. Jeff is here from Public Works. Um, and so um, uh, this was in many ways a good trial run. Uh, there were, uh, we didn't have as many calls of structural flooding. Uh, we did have some structural flooding right around Washington Avenue, Westcott, and Shepherd. Uh, and then we had, I think, one incident of structural flooding right around the Martin Luther King area, uh, St. Low, and Van Fleet. But then when we went out and checked, the water had started to recede before any water got in, inside the home. Um, we still have... Um, Coke, uh, 288, right around 610 and 59, I think is, is, is closed, uh, partially closed. And 59 in Greens Road, we're kind of watching in that particular area, so we're watching that. The Kingwood area appears to be okay. Uh, we're still watching a lot of the tributaries that flow into Lake Houston, but from all indications, the water levels are remaining about um, right around 42, 43. And we are releasing water from Lake Houston, which is a, something that we have been doing proactively since Hurricane Harvey. So things seem to be okay uh, in that area. We've got a, a significant uh, sinkhole right around 2700 Willcrest uh, that, we, that we are addressing uh, as, as we speak. But from all indications, uh, I think we're going to fare well. Um, the preparation that we put in place w um, worked. And we'll continue to work to refine things as we move along. I regret we had to cancel all of the events with the reception of the fireworks for Freedom Over Texas. I regret that. Uh, but uh, the water along uh, Buffalo Bayou uh, is, is somewhat high. And then we have water that's flowing from west going east. And we don't want to put anybody in, um, in arm's way. Or we don't, certainly don't want anybody to slip and, f and fall out there and with the currents being what they are. And so we thought it would be best to, for safety purposes, to cancel. We will continue to proceed with the fireworks show, uh, which will start at about 9.30. Uh, and then I think we're trying to find some way of putting on the concert with Chris Young that may start about 9. And, um, um, but you have to see it, you know, you have to watch your televisions and all of that to see that. Uh, but we're not, uh, we're not inviting anyone to be on the grounds out there at the uh, uh, Eleanor Tensley Park. So no one, we're not expecting anyone to be there. What we would say is that uh, uh, watch things from, from television, get you a good seat. That's probably the best seat in the house. But the fireworks show will still proceed at, at, at about 930. I will say with respect to the Summer Symphony at Herman Park, that is still scheduled to go forward. Uh, I think that starts at about 8 or 8.30 tonight and followed by their own fireworks display. Uh, but that is a free concert out on Miller Outdoor, and so that is still scheduled to go forward. Um, so that's, that's where we are right now. A lot more rain that, uh, than what was indicated. Uh, when you're expecting two to three inches all day, and in some cases you end up getting eight inches, you know, that speaks for itself. Between 9 and 11, we were getting like three to four inches an hour. 
but again, uh, this was one of those times uh, we're going to use it as a, as a test run, hopefully. We won't have any major events uh, during this hurricane season, but just in case, um, I think we've, we are all uh, recognize that um, we are a lot more prepared. Things flowed a lot smoothly, and um, see that Houston is in a much better place uh, than we were last August. Any questions that I can address? Nah. Yes. It, it, uh, we, it, it made us to be very uh, cautious and uh, be, uh, to, to be a lot more proactive uh, and to deploy our assets throughout the city of Houston. Uh, we've gotten more assets. We wanted to, this was an excellent way of making sure that they were deployed throughout the city so that we, if necessary, we could call on them a lot more. And look, and we recognize that uh, um, people are very nervous. There are a lot of people that are very nervous. This is really close to Hurricane Harvey. Okay, and so anytime you get a lot of rain, there's a lot of nervousness. What we want to assure people is that number one, uh, we're watching things much closer. We want to make sure we provide people uh, even more notice uh, than what they've received in the past. And so if we if we think that water, for example, is going to exceed the bayous and it's going to create the structural damage, uh, the goal is try to notify people ahead of time instead of them rec you know getting notice when the water is coming in. So uh, we're very, very sensitive to that. We're, tr we're trying to fine-tune our operations even more. Uh, I'm gratified about the number of assets that we do have, and I'm gratified about how we are responding to the situation. I think the words from all, and again, Mother Nature has a mind of her own. But uh, from all indications and the reports coming from the National Weather Service, we only expect in about a quarter to have an inch of the, uh, between now and, and 4 o'clock. Things are continuing to taper off. I will say tomorrow, going into Friday, we will, we'll, you know, there will be some repeating rains that will be coming into the area. Uh, but I think the, the bayous are going to be capable of handling, of handling that water flow. Mayor, your message. Well, I know there's a tendency to kind of get out. There's still street flooding, okay? There's street flooding throughout the city, Sagemont area. There's still street flooding uh, on, the, on the north side, both northeast, northwest, um, central parts. So there's still street flooding. What I would say is that uh, give, us, give us probably a couple of more hours, you know, um, you know, just, you know, just kind of hunker down. This is the 4th of July. You know, people can still barbecue at their homes, you know. Uh, be safe in doing that as well. But I, I would, I would, if you don't have, have to leave in the next couple of hours, you know, just kind of, you know, just kind of stay at home, enjoy your time with your family. After that, I think things should be okay. Unfortunately, but what, let me just, let me just say, but please don't come to the Eleanor Tinsley Park. Now, don't, don't do that. Uh, I know there's a desire with us still doing the fireworks that people probably, you know, if you don't, don't want to watch it on television, you can find us a safer place to do that, but not at the Ellen Intensity Park. We're not going to allow anybody on the grounds because the waters are still hot. And the last thing we need is somebody out there and they end up slipping. We don't, we don't want that. So if you, if you, if you want to go to a restaurant or to some sort of a sports uh, 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 club or something where there are television sets, stuff like that, or if, you, or if you work in the downtown area, for example, and you can go and get a good view and watch the fireworks, if things, that's, that's fine. So if you got a location that you can go where you can see it, uh, I don't want you on the freeways, okay? I don't, I don't want you on I-45 or 16 or 59 and decide that you're just going to stop on the freeway. Don't, don't do that and watch the fireworks. So don't, don't do that. Just bear in mind, um, don't put yourself in a, position, in a situation that's going to make it more dangerous for yourself or someone else. But if you're at a restaurant or if you're at a sports, sports bar or uh, um, if you work downtown and things of that nature at a hotel, you know, those things are fine or better yet. The best seat would be the seat in front of a television and, and, and watching it from there. But um, I'm a kid at heart. Um, very seldom am, am I going to cancel a fireworks show. I mean, that's, you know, so the fireworks show will go on. Uh, saluting uh, um, all of our veterans, law enforcement personnel. This is Independent Day. Freedom is not free. And so we can still 
um, uh, pay homage and, and pay tribute to, uh, to the fact that a lot of people have sacrificed in order for us to be around today. So t tonight, the firework will, ship will go on uh, for uh, our country and the fact that we are here, and we are here because so many people have paid the ultimate sacrifice. Okay? Did I get everything? All right. And again, let me just, I don't want to conclude by, again, thank you for your coverage again. Okay? Because this is a collective e effort. And again, based on the coverage that you all provide on a continuous basis, that helped to get the word out much sooner. So I want to, I want to thank you all uh, because in many, many ways, uh, this was a trial run for all of, all of us. And people are, 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 um, are watching and listening. Again, I want to reiterate, and this was an example today. We had about 63 vehicle calls to, uh, to, to the fire department and about 127 calls to, to police, cars that are trying to navigate through the water, okay? If the streets are underwater, please do not try to drive through because it's hard to determine just how much water is on those streets. So we had a number of vehicles that were stranded because they tried to get through and they have been towed. I do want to give this information. If by chance your car or truck or vehicle was towed, you can go, you can call 311 and ask for the tow line. Call 311 and ask for the tow line. Or you can go online at findmytowedcar.com, findmytowedcar.com. Or you can call 713-308-8588. That's 713-308-8588. Or online, findmytowedcar.com. If by chance your car, uh, you try to get through the ward and, or your car was sitting there and it got towed, um, and we should be able to, to assist you. And again, if you had tickets to uh, the Freedom of Texas, we are going to refund uh, those, 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 the, those the tickets, uh, the, uh, what you paid for them. Just give us a little time and, and be patient with us. Uh, having said all of that, uh, from Mother Nature to the city of Houston, uh, to all of you, Happy 4th of July. <laughs> <laughs>